Hello guys, Jagveer Singh back with another video of Mastercam 2022 and in this video I will show you how to use wireframe in different planes so that you can always use the wireframe instead of solid or surfaces whenever needed to do the machining. So let's get started. So first of all I will just collect on wireframe and just write any random letters. Let's say I'm going to write CAD CAM, which is my, which was my channel's name once. So I'm just going to click on the top view. So that was predefined because I was just trying to practice before making the video. So let me tell you how did I start it. So let's say I write CAM itself. By default, it's going to take the origin or the axis as the base point. But you can always select the base point if you want to change it whenever or wherever. So you can change the height of it and also the spacing between it. You can also make sure that you can align it horizontally or vertically. And let's say if I'm going to change and align it somewhere here and I click OK. You can see this is my top view by the way. You can see. and if I click on isometric view it will look something like this so in most of the cases if people are using wireframe to generate the tool paths it's necessary that you are able to use the dynamic or transform in order to place the wireframe wherever you want to so how can you do that is let's say I take this an example and I'm going to select the entire wireframe I click on transform and either I can choose dynamic or translate itself in this case I'm going to use dynamic I'm going to click the origin point it shows of the wireframe and I can choose the distance along the Z or any other axis that I want to and move the wireframe to a certain distance let's say I'm going to move it two inches above the origin and click OK so you can see that my wireframe is now two inches above so this is on the top view on the top plane similarly I just want to represent for now like how the different planes and wireframe can be adjusted whenever we need to and in future videos I will also show you how to make different uh, tool paths using both wireframe and solids and also if needed I will also go through the surface part as well because that can be very handy to use sometimes so now I'm just going to go on front view and make a similar kind of wireframe and I will show you how we can adjust it. So let's say I'm going to do the same thing right now. Go to wireframe, go to create letters and I'm going to click on CAD CAM anywhere and click OK. When I go to isometric I can see something like this. I'm going to do the same thing once again. This time make sure that you don't select the top level otherwise it will be shifted along that section as well so I go to transform dynamic this time I want to move you can see the Z this way and again I'm going to make two inches right there and then I can go to the right view and do the same thing go to wireframe I can click create letters do the same thing again and again and again Click here, OK, isometric, or before that, I would personally recommend you select the wireframe and then go to isometric. This is not selected, you can all manually select if something is left. And then you go to transform, dynamic, always use isometric, that gives you a better perspective of how much to move. And then I'm going to do the same thing two inches from the region. And you can see that now I have three axes on which cam word is written and they all of them are two inches from the origin in all the three axes. So how can this be useful is let's say if you are trying to make or manufacture something that is two inches in length, width and height so instead of making an entire solid before you do the machining and on which you just need to engrave 
a word let's say cam in this case so you don't need to make the entire solid first and then do the engraving on it you can just use the wireframe in order to create the toolpath and you will be done with the purpose so that's pretty much it for this video I hope you like it please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next upcoming videos thank you